Hi, this is Ambassador David Friedman, and it's my great honor to address the fourth annual Jerusalem Leaders Summit. You know, the road to peace runs through the city of Jerusalem. Uh, Jerusalem literally means uh, city of peace, Ir Shalem, the city of peace. And when uh, President Trump recognized Jerusalem as the eternal capital of the Jewish people on December 6th, 2017, we embarked upon a path to peace. Many people predicted an explosion of violence, but indeed what resulted was an explosion of peace over the next four years. We were able to conclude five different agreements, normalization agreements between the state of Israel and five Muslim nations that we refer to as the Abraham Accords. People ask me all the time, how'd you know that when uh, the president would announce Jerusalem as the capital of Israel that the U.S. recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, how'd you know there wouldn't be any violence? And the answer is that we did a lot of work. We uh, worked with all our partners and allies in the region. But at the end of the day, no one really knows uh, how to predict the future. No one could conclude whether somebody might act out and uh, commit some horrible act of violence. But what we did has what we did have was faith. We had faith in Jerusalem as really the the place from which peace would emerge. And we know that from the book of Isaiah, the second chapter, where Isaiah prophesies that all the nations of the world will come to Jerusalem, whereby God will resolve their differences. And after that, nation will not lift up sword against nation, nor study war anymore. The famous paradigm of peace that uh, adorns the Isaiah wall at the United Nations. So um, our, our faith tells us, uh, and, and we believe deeply that, as I said, the road to peace runs through Jerusalem. So congratulations to all of you for choosing Jerusalem as the place for your summit. Uh, it is um, the place from which peace will undoubtedly emerge with God's help. And we pray that that, that day comes uh, quickly in, in our times. Thank you so much. Thank you.